Molly? How are you? If you are Grace Hart, I quit here and now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, having a bad hair day. Bad hair decade, really. Mr. Melling, I'm Eric Matthews. We spoke on the phone. Your hair is uh, perfect. However, I can't accept this job. There's no way on earth that I can make this woman ready in two days. Oh, please, Mr. Melling, give it a chance, huh? Sit down. Have lunch. Totally on the bureau. Yes, I, I suppose that would be the civilized thing to do. Actually, uh, I'm gonna take a rain check. I got a lot of FBI stuff I gotta take care of. That thing, Hart. I told you. That thing I told you about. You I gotta to do, do anything. it. Well, listen, I'll see you later. We'll, we'll hang out. Well, you I like caps? Yeah. I'll get you an official FBI cap. All right. Yes. Pardon me. I'm sorry. See you later. Be good. Well, oh, yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It is always yes, never yeah. Sit down. Miss United States. It's always well-spoken and polite, you understand? Hey, 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 watch the hands, Garcon. Excuse me, madam. It's all right, Philip. I have a feeling we're going to need a drop cloth later. <laughs> Philip, could I have another Cabernet Sauvignon, please? Another cake for you. I'm good, thanks. That's okay, Philip. So, now how long have you been doing this pageant training thing? I'm sorry? What, what was the question? I was distracted by the half-masticated cow rolling around in your wide-open trap. Excuse me, what is your problem? Problem? Yeah. I mean, yes. I mean, have I offended you in some way? Because quite frankly, you've been completely antagonistic to me since the second I walked in that door. Did you know that I was once the most sought-after, highly-paid consultant in pageant history? I had no idea. Every season, girls would plead with me to train them. 10 out of 11 years, my girls were crowned. The year we lost, the winner was a deaf mute. You can't beat that. Then, in 96, my girl froze like a puddle halfway through her aria from La Boheme. Afterwards, she told a reporter from Pageant Magazine that I was a crazed perfectionist who had harangued her to within an inch of her sanity. Of course, after that article came out, nobody wanted me. Okay, well, with all due respect here, why did Miss Morningside suggest you then? Because. Or perhaps it's because everyone was worth having had a contestant. They had their southern bells, their midwestern farmer's daughters, spunky western cowgirls, and I have dirty Harriet. Will you desist? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. I haven't seen a walk like that since Jurassic Park. Yeah, well, you know what? It's been working really well for me for the past 30 years, all right? Well, glide. Now, glide. What? Look. Don't, don't look down. Don't well, look down. Look. Don't look down. Look up. Your, your chin should always be parallel to the floor. Now, glide. Glide. It's not the bloody ice capades. Well, glide. Gliding. No, no. D don't pick your feet up. Don't pick your feet up. Why are you picking your feet up? Because I'm preparing to run away. No, wait, 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 wait. What? Watch me, watch me. Glide, glide. See? Glide. It's all in the buttocks. Don't I look pretty? It takes a very secure man to walk like that. <sighs> roll your hips, roll your hips. Head up, head up. Keep gliding, keep gliding. <laughs> 